What's going on everybody? It's your boy E Double here, aka Eric West, and we are back with some more Pokemon Leaf Green Randomized Nuzlocke! Last episode was pretty insane, uh, although we didn't accomplish too much at the end of the day. But a uh, really quick look at the team, not gonna go over movesets right now. We have level 20, Krusty, the core fish with those dangerous ass pincers. We have the level 20 Poseidon the Kingdra, the smoke screen king. We have level 21 Magnus the Charmeleon with his new Karate. We have the level 21 Slim Jesus the Flaffy. We have the level 22 Reiner the Armored Titan. We have our level 23 Majestic the Pidgeotto, our starter Pokemon. And that's actually it. That's all six. I didn't forget one this time. <laughs> cool. So, we are going to be going through this tunnel um, to get to Vermilion. And, oh, she... Shit. Okay, cool. If you have a Ho-Oh, this little girl wants to trade it for her Apom. <laughs> you know, that's legitimately how GTS works, though. And I hate people who do that. I absolutely can't stand those people where you go on to the global trade system... And you're like, oh, I'm looking for a freaking Caterpie um, from this level to this level. And someone's like, yeah, bro, I got a level 50 Caterpie. Uh, show me that Lugia, though. Or show me this this legendary Pokemon. Oh, shit! It just processed in my head that this is our first encounter. We have a Dratini. Oh, hell yeah. We are picking up from the last episode. Um... First, I'm gonna, uh, it'll resist water moves, but I don't know if it can live a crab hammer, so I'm gonna hit it with the bubble beam. Show him how many O's I got. Okay. All right, and you have no thunder wave as well. Not bad, not bad. Uh, this is when I wish we had two Pokemon in the daycare, but that doesn't happen for, not until post-game, actually. It's kind of sucks for breeders in this game. Alright. Alright, buddy. Bubble beam it up. Live. Yes! Now we're gonna go ahead and switch out into Slim Jesus. Whoa, what is with this lag? Super sorry about that shit. Um, oh! Right, I'm stuck. And I don't have a non-damaging move. Yeah, okay. I'm going to just start chucking balls then. There's no need to, like, waste items just to stall turn. You know, I might as well... Just, oh, okay. Just start chucking Pokeballs until I'm freed from the wrap. That way I can, uh... Paralyze it and have a better shot at trying to catch this thing. Okay. Not jiggling at all. That's... Not very good. I'm freed from the wrap, though. Awesome. So now we're going to go into Slim Jesus... And we are going to hit it with this Thunder Wave. Get that Paralysis going. Uh oh <laughs> Every fucking time. Oh, right. It has Shed Skin. Yikes. Okay, so this is going to be a constant Paralysis battle. Um, so let's see, let's see, let's see. Hopefully that does enough. Nothing. It made zero of a difference. That is some shit. Don't shed skin yet. Okay, good. I forgot Dratini's even get shed skin, because, like... I mean, I'm pretty sure people mostly remember... Awesome! People mostly remember what a Dragonite gets, or, or has, or at least I assume they do. Um, but we have Dratini the Dragon Pokemon. Long considered a mythical Pokemon until recently, when a small colony was found living underwater. That's insane. Anyways, what do I call this thing? Um, yeah, I'm gonna be generic, and I'm gonna call it Toothless, which is probably a basic ass name, but this thing's a girl, and I think Toothless is a girl, so whatever, it'll have to fit for now. We have a Mon in the box, and I'm not trying to battle these trainers quite yet, not quite yet, I want to get all my encounters first. Um, let's go ahead and put Poseidon in the front of the party, because we have to battle one of these two trainers, and it's gonna be the male. That's the only way we can get to Viridian, 
or Vermillion, excuse me. Did you guys ever listen to those songs that they made during the first one or two seasons of, of Pokemon? Where, like, you could actually... Oh, whoa, my moves are not where I thought they were. Um, where you could actually go on to the Pokemon website and play the soundtrack, and that was one of the songs. Just, I'm on the road to Viridian City Made no friends along the way da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I was I was geeking out on that shit when I was like eight or nine. Um, that was like my first e exposure to... No, no, I can't say it's my first exposure to music because I was listening to Eminem since I was like a literal infant. But, um... That was... Those were the first jams. Those were my first jams were Pokemon songs because like I didn't have CDs. I had we had a boombox or whatever, you know, that we could use, but I didn't actually have any CDs. And all the CDs in the house were my dad's CDs. Um but so I, I didn't I never touched those. I didn't have my own MP3 player until I was maybe not uh, 10, I think. I think I was 10. Basically, not until... Where am I going? Oh, bike voucher. Right. Gotta do this. Um, basically, yeah, I didn't get my first MP3 player until I graduated, or culminated, excuse me, uh, from the fifth grade. And... Even then, like, I was just listening to a bunch of random wild shit. Like, I feel like a playlist made by a younger person is gonna be more all over the place, you feel me? Versus a playlist. I'm gonna save the Diglett's Cave, actually, because there's something I wanna try. But the playlist from someone younger is gonna be more all over the place, more likely. And then as you grow into your teens and, and whatnot, then it becomes, your playlist gains more of a focus. Okay. Okay, we have a Surviper for our encounter. Not bad. Um, let's go ahead and water gun this thing. Oh, I should probably smoke screen it so it doesn't poison anybody. Uh, okay. That's what I'm gonna do first. I'm gonna set up the smoke screens so that nobody gets poisoned, so that nobody has to die. Because poison and rap is a awkward combination to, to be in. But, yeah, man. I mean, like, I was... Let's see. It was really just the Pokemon music I was listening to all the time. Then I got my own MP3 player and I was like, oh, cool. I can um, I can download my own songs. I can start making my own thing. And, but I had no idea how to do that. I didn't even know how the internet worked at that time. I just knew, I didn't even know about search engines yet. Legit, the only thing I knew about how to use the internet was Type the name of something that you like, and then put .com and see if it's a website. <laughs> so I was like, sitting there, and I'm like, huh, okay, all I do is watch TV and play my Game Boy. So, Cartoon Network, .com. Oh my god, it worked! <laughs> Nickelodeon, .com. Holy crap, it worked! <laughs> oh man, but... Sorry for skipping the, the Pokedex entry. I was budding spamming there. Um, I'll come back to read it, but Viper, um, it's not a white snake, so I don't want to call it Orochimaru, but uh, it's, not a, it's not a girl. I would have had a cool name for a girl, but not for a guy. Um, oh. No, I'm gonna just call him Slade, cause I don't know. He kind of reminds me of Slade for some reason. It's a it's a lame name for a Surviper. Um, we're not gonna probably use him, not for a long ass time anyway. So it's whatever. Um, but I'm gonna change, or I'm I'm gonna save Diglett's Cave Encounter, because it's not just Diglett. Um, it's also Doug Trio. But, 
the Doug Trio are usually level 29, but that's like the rare encounter. So, as cool as whatever the Diglett would be, the Diglett are, I think they cap out at like level 23 or 24 or some shit. So essentially, for this type of Nuzlocke, right, if I went in there with my Repel, okay, I would almost... I mean, after the gym and SSN and everything, I would not run into any Pokemon if I sprayed a Repel. Probably. But, Repel doesn't stop all Pokemon from coming through. Um, it mainly... It only stops Pokemon that are the same level sometimes. And it stops weaker Pokemon, for the most part. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grind up and I'm going to... Oh my god, a Moltres! Yo, we found a Zapdos in the wild, then we battled an Articuno, and now we're fighting the fucking Moltres! Alright, let's test out this Crab Hammer, yeah? Oh, it didn't peck me? What a stupid trainer. And... Ooh! Almost a one-shot! Dude, that's gonna be a good amount of HP. For a shell bell anyways bro thank goodness for misty thanks to misty we are never losing crusty never losing him it's actually impossible for crusty to die now god damn but yeah and so like i never knew how the internet worked and then what was it there was uh at the time like it was the era of LimeWire, if you guys remember that. And if you don't, essentially, LimeWire was kind of like iTunes, right? You could play your music on it. But for the most part, it was like, you, um... Oh, why did I do that? I kept thinking that... I forgot that I changed my moveset around. LimeWire Lime was used to download music, essentially. It might have been the first, or if not the first, the first most well-known um youtube to mp3 converter right before they had the websites for it um and so essentially we were using limewire and that's when i discovered youtube for the first time but i didn't actually know what it was right i didn't know the name of it or how to access it or what you could do on it uh none of that just jazz and of course, everyone else at this age knew what it was and all that other information, but So you're like using YouTube and all this other crap to uh, this is not a nice matchup Using all this stuff so that you can go ahead and download on LimeWire And I had no idea what the hell I was interested in like I didn't have a single freaking clue so my mom picked a couple of random songs and I think I liked some of them my cousin was there because I always spend time with my cousins she picked a couple of different songs and I was like, oh yeah, I like how this one sounds, download that one. Um, but for the most part, it was 50 Cent on there and some uh, some old rap. I don't remember what exactly, honestly. Um, maybe some Snoop Dogg, maybe even Andre 3000. I'm not 100% sure, but... Yeah, and then like it was just everywhere. Then once fifth grade, going into sixth grade, was when oh thank God Snorlax was when Michael Jackson had died. So I was like, I mean I heard of him because we'd always make jokes of him at school, saying oh no he's gonna come touch us, but I never knew anything about him. I never heard his music. I hadn't heard. Man in the Mirror before. I had never heard Thriller, none of that stuff, right? So I was like, hey, I wanna download some Michael Jackson. And I sat there on YouTube just listening to some of his stuff. And I was like, oh my God, this is this is really what I'm into, you know? So I downloaded um, the majority of his like more popular songs, um, his really famous ones and some of them. I, found out about the Jackson 5 and all that, and I became a really big Michael Jackson fan for a while there. But, uh, oh, come on! Dude! Alright, that's not gonna work. Let's go into Krusty and Vice Grip this thing. 
Yeah, okay, we're gonna vice grip the shit out of this. Then we're gonna crab hammer for the game for the win? Oh, okay, we didn't need a crab hammer. Whatever. But then going into actual middle school, right, was when I started to really become a stand, learn more about Eminem, and just my playlist dwindled out from all the random shit that I had and became more of 50 Cent, Eminem, and then Michael Jackson in there. Um, but yeah, and then like, then going into high school, there wasn't even any more Michael Jackson. There was some Akon though. There was some Akon, um, some Neo, and maybe a little bit of Usher. Yeah, yeah, there was a little bit of Usher. So I started to, it became like, hard rap because most of the Eminem shit that I had downloaded like I listened to a lot of his stuff right and now that I know knew what YouTube was I listened to a lot of his stuff but for the most part I like it was downloaded was from the relapse album and then there was some 50 cent stuff in there um and yeah and some d12 some, I don't even remember what, but it focused on hardcore rap, not necessarily gangster rap, but hardcore rap, and R&B, on the R&B song, it was mostly like breakup shit, you know, but that's what I mean, like, the playlists start to get more concentrated, and now I'm like, oh shit, I need to branch out more, because I also like this thing, and I also like this thing, but I'm not listening to enough of everything. But yeah, I mean, there's my little spiel on freaking music and shit. Alright, essentially, when Slim Jesus gets his act together... Thank you! Ah, what the fuck? Ah, dude, it doesn't even do that much damage. And I'm running out of PP because of this fucking mischievous. Do you guys say mischievous or mischievous? Alright. Run through- no, no, stop. It's getting very annoying. Thank you. So glad I've been, um, speeding through all of this. Alright, so I do know, there's an item right here. Figgy Berry, dope! There's not- oh, there is an item right there. Haha! <laughs> Alright. So now I'm gonna make it, or I'm gonna book it all the way back to- I'll come back and like do the hidden items later for this underground path because honestly there's so freaking many. Oh, I do want to see. Shit. Okay. So we only have six Pokemon in our Pokedex logged for. Where am I going? We only have six Kanto Pokemon logged in our Pokedex. Which is kind of. I don't know, it's a disappointment, right? It's gonna be tough-ish, because that means that without having 10, we can't get the, the HM Flash, right? And the second thing, which is slightly disappointing for me, is the fact that we can't um, get the item finder. We'll, we probably won't ever get the item finder, unless we get super lucky and like, say, catch a bunch of Kanto Mons, or, only all of whom can evolve in junk so but like without that happening really i'm never gonna progress this kanto decks and that that sucks a lot um because i would have liked to grab the item finder so that i can find all these things lying around because there are things like in the tunnels where items don't become available until you get the item finder but, um, and you never know, you know, it could be a master ball lying around. Let's talk to this guy to get the fishing rod, the old rod, because with the old rod, we can get an encounter here in Vermilion City, which is super cool, super duper cool. Uh, let's register the bike. All right. Patience. It's all about the patience. There we go. It's gonna be a... Holy shit! 
It's a Marsh Dom! First of all, there's so many water type Pokemon. <laughs> if I'm being real with you, there is so many water type Pokemon. Um, for sure, for sure, for sure, there's absolutely nothing I can do to hurt this thing and not kill it. Sadly. I don't have anything that can poison. Or no no Will-O-Whips. None of that. So I'm gonna... Thunder Wave doesn't affect it. And it's probably not gonna use Tackle anytime soon. I'm gonna Growl like crazy and just hope that it does Tackle me. I'm gonna have to catch a freaking starter Pokemon without, with full HP and without a status condition. The only way it can get a status condition is through static. Oh my god. Just, please just keep using tackle. Alright, time to... Ah, uh, no, I don't have regular potions anymore. Alright then, time to start chucking balls. Here goes one. Yo, this thing's not gonna stay in the ball. I, <laughs> I mean, you already know it's not going to. It's gonna be way tough. I wish I was thinking ahead and realized, oh, it's the old rod, everything's gonna be level five. I really should have thought about that and, and seen if I had something weaker in the box, which I'm sure I do, but I'm gonna have to deal with this. But how cool would it be if I did get this Marsh Dawn? And like, please just paralyze yourself. Can you like, contract this static? Damn. All right, now I'm gonna super potion. Cause knowing my ass. <laughs> but hey, but bro, if you could tackle a couple times, that would be beautiful. I would actually, actually, very, very love that. Yeah, I don't have anything to freaking paralyze it with. None of that. Oh, I have the Dratini in the fucking box. God. Damn. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Finally. Now you want to stay in this ball? Please? I'll use all the balls that I have to, man. I mean, I have I have some money saved up. And Pokeballs aren't super expensive. So, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? But, yo, I'm catching a lot of power. And if I don't catch this Marsh Stomp, I'm not tripping. Because I do have Krusty the Core Fish with his Crab Hammer. And I do have... Um, a freaking Kingdra, which, now that I'm thinking about it, Kingdra evolves with an item, so does Kingdra even learn any moves? Am I just stuck with this, or does he not learn moves until, like, his 30s and his 50s, and in super large increments of levels? Come on. There you go. Hey! Alright, we got a Marsh Stomp in the box. So the PC is looking hella powerful. We have Marsh Stomp the Mudfish Pokemon. It is at its best when on muddy ground with poor footing. It quickly overwhelms foes struggling in mud. This thing does not seem like it's supposed to be two feet. It seems like it's supposed to be four feet. Like, I really, oh man, Pokedex entries. Um, a good name for a Marsh Stomp? Damn. I mean, it looks kind of cute. Yeah, this thing looks kind of like Astro Boy, so that's what I'm gonna call it. And you know, when I pull it out, the PC, if I ever do, um, I'm just gonna change the nickname. But for now, Marsh Stomp looks like Astro Boy, so that's what he's gonna be. Not even thinking of it as a Swampert yet, but there's that encounter. And what else do we have to get done? I mean, we just got a bunch of encounters. It's gonna be kind of a slow episode. Might just end it right here, cause I don't wanna have to have you guys watch all of this and the SSN. So, <laughs> construction that's never finished, man. I think that might just have to be it. Maybe I'll do, I don't even have to grind, cause I'm just gonna grind on the SSN. All right, well, that's gotta be it for this episode then man i mean thank you guys for for tuning in um see you guys in the next episode of of the nuzlocke be sure to stick around for future episodes on the homeboys channel as well as the individual channels in the description below and i'll see you guys next time later people Turn your appearance to a disappearance.
gangsters, nothing but hustling niggas, sound 